Y'all see in here? Richard Overton is used to having visitors on his front porch at his East Austin home. You want to sit down? If you drive by, you'll most likely find him drinking coffee with a little whiskey and smoking on his favorite cigar while chatting with his closest friends. Oh, how mercy, all these folks here. <laughs> I, 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 better go get my camera now. Uh -oh. <laughs> to everybody getting theirs. But on this Memorial Day, Overton sits and waits with anticipation for a once-in-a-lifetime visit. Are you excited about meeting the governor? No, I ain't excited about it. He's a human, ain't he? <laughs> well, I ain't scared of him. <laughs> this World War II veteran hasn't lost his sense of humor over the years for someone who's survived and seen a lot. Shot over my head, between my legs, around my ears and everything, but it wasn't my day to go. If your day to go, you're going, I don't care what happened. But more than 70 years after World War II, Overton is still going strong. I don't take medicine, and I don't have no sick spells. I don't have no headache, no heartache, no bellache. I, mean, I just kept on living. But after all the living he's done, he's never met a governor until today. Mr. Overton? Yeah. Don't get uh, no, I got to get up. It's an honor to I, meet you, sir. An honor to meet you. Yes, sir. I just wanted to come by and visit with you. Be glad to have Commiserate you. Commiserate a little bit. Honor Flight Austin helped arrange a special meeting between Overton and Governor Rick Perry. 107. Yes, sir. That's pretty awesome. Overton is the oldest living World War II veteran. Oh, that's before your time. And Perry wanted to hear his story. Where'd you end up overseas? I ended up in Hawaii. In Hawaii. Oh, yeah, I'm in Hawaii. Yes, sir. Yeah, it, 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 it was shot all up. Yes, See, sir. the planes had, to, it was, some of those ships were still smoking when I got there. Oh, yeah. Know. The two sat and talked for almost half an hour with topics ranging from barbecue and women to Overton arriving in Pearl Harbor days following Japan's attack. Oh, the people I was soldiers in was, they say they was at party. <laughs> it was a sunny morning. Yes, I guess so. Yes, sir. But anyway, no, they didn't get a, didn't get to shoot a plane. So it didn't. The only thing that that, that uh, Darsh Miller, yeah, that, that yeah, boy, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. him. I was there. He got the uh, yeah, he, uh, Navy Cross. Navy Cross. That's yes, right. Yeah. Doris Miller from Waco, got, Texas. That's right. Before the two parted, Perry, following military tradition, gave Overton a special gift. That's one of my challenge coins right there. Thank you. Yeah, that's put that in you. Put in that in your safe. box. Let's see if I got four of them now. There you are. Good on you. Yeah, if I get, but I can't spend it. <laughs> <laughs> Perry also brought along a gift bag with Overton's favorite morning elixir. Man, you like that it's something to get you going in the morning. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for yes. your service. Thank you for coming out, well, taking time. Afterwards, Overton was touched that the governor took the time to stop by. Something I've never done before. First in life. Appreciate him. And just as moved, the governor himself. Coming over here and seeing the oldest veteran in the world is, uh, that's pretty cool.